So that is it about this question. And then the II aspect, it says, give one reason for each of the variances computed in the requirement I. In other words, why do you have the answers you have? Which I hope you can do them so I can skip, right? The direct labor, sorry, the first one was direct material, what? Usage variance. What did we get? What was the answer there? You got 6,000. 6,000? Why? Because we use more than expected. So what is the reason for the variance? It's because, like you said, um, it could be because of uh, actual units is more than budgeted. Another reason we could say is that actual material used is more than budgeted units or budgeted materials. So that's the reason we could say about that one. What was the second one? Direct material what? Rates. Sorry, price variance. In your price. In your Why did we have favorable for the price variance? When your price is favorable, it means you are paying less than how much you are supposed to pay, right? So it could mean that the actual price, actual material price, is less than. Okay, let's just let's use the word was, not this. Let's use the verb was. So actual material price was less than. Standard price. That could be the reason for the variance. In the first two, no. Then I had. Then we come to direct labor rate variance. What did we get? What did we get for labor rate variance? Um, what? Rate of okay. What could be the reason for the rate? It's because of the payments. So it could mean that the actual labor rate per hour was more than the standard rate. That could be the reason. That could be one of the reasons in relation to that. Direct labor efficiency variance. Okay, that one, we didn't get any variance, right? So we won't do anything for it. Then variable overhead spending variance or expenditure variance. It's on my body here. 80 favorable. Why? Because it is spending, it's about payment. So it could mean that we are paying less than what? How much we are supposed to pay because the hours are the same. So the only reason could be because of the payment. So it means the actual variable overhead rate per hour was less than the standard rate. Then, if I see you, variable overhead efficiency, we got a tag, so that will not be a problem. The last one is fixed overhead cost variance. That one we got adverse. Why would we have adverse for the fixed overhead variance? Now, the fixed cost could be because of uh, the space we are using, 
or something like that. So since it's about payments, it could mean that the actual fixed overheads incurred was more than the budgeted overheads. due to factory face cost to be due to factory face cost. So that's it. Due to increase increase in factory face cost. So that's the answer. To the II aspect of the question. The examiner said, pick the variances one after the other and tell him one reason or give him one reason why you got to the answer. Is that? Is that? Yeah. So, anyway, you're taking the trouble working already. Doing the working, so that's it about that. So that's it, 17 marks. If you're able to do that, you are gone. Alright. I'm gonna say thing about